Back again, episode three, Talk of the Town, 918. So Darnell, Dwayne, got my boy Darwin Thompson here today, uh, 918 kid. Um, gonna let him introduce himself. What's up, Darwin? Darwin Thompson, what's up, man? Appreciate y'all having me on. For Appreciate sure. you for coming. Yeah, Need sir. the knowledge to the youth. Yes, sir. Appreciate what y'all got going on, what y'all doing, Talk of the Town. Yes, um, Darwin Thompson. Originally from Oak Moogie, played Little League there, started in third grade, went to Glen, pull on from there, fourth through seventh. Tulsa, came to Tulsa probably like 2009, 2008. Played my football out here. I quit football about seventh grade. Then I went to Edison, played like five games, quit again. What grade was you in when you went to Edison? Eighth grade. Eighth grade, okay. Eighth grade. What okay. made you quit, though? Man, the politics. <laughs> uh-huh, you know what I'm saying? You. The politics. And then, I don't know, like, my pops, he take up for people that ain't got no daddy. Mm-hmm. Right. My bestest friends, my kin folks that was going to school with me, mm-hmm. ain't had no pops. And some coach was talking crazy to him. So, sh- we all decided to quit at the same time. We, and we the team. Yeah, got gotcha. you. Quarterback, receiver, running back. Sh- we all quit bomb. And what'd you do after that? So you going into your ninth grade year, what'd you do? Man, ninth grade year, I ended up going to Jinx. Okay, okay. Walk us through there. Uh huh. I had to make a decision. They say, shoot, you can play football at Jinx, or you can move out. Uh huh. And I'm like, man, <laughs> I just stay at Edison, not play football no more. Uh-huh. Live with my mom or whatever. Mom ended up moving to Jinx. I had to move uh, with her, me and my baby brother. We the only ones that go to Jinx. My sister ended up staying up here going to Discovery, little charter school. Uh-huh, yeah. yeah. And so we went down there. That was the hardest move, transition, you know what I'm saying? School, everything. Mm-hmm. You talk about curriculum, being taught. That was a struggle within its own. Get down there, whole different um, culture. You right. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Right. Like, from, even from Edison, Tulsa, Whitney, Nathan Hill, whole different culture. Uh, I get down there, ninth grade year, politics, a whole another. <laughs> Whole another story. story. At Jinx, yeah. At Jinx. So, uh-huh. um, <laughs> ninth grade year, I think uh, we had a couple of running backs. Um, I played both sides of the ball at that time. Mm-hmm. I played DB. I ain't no DB, though. Yeah, yeah. I told y'all before, I'm a running back athlete. I, the ball need to be in my hands. Uh-huh. That's uh-huh. it. I'm not, not breaking up no pass. I'm not tackling <laughs> nobody. Just you ain't backpedaling. No. The coach, yeah, I ain't backpedaling. Give me the ball ain't. in my hands. You know, yeah. me and my daddy did practice a, a step back you yeah. know, on the basketball court from my running back stuff just to add to the tool bag. But ninth grade year, I get over there. Man, first off, I ain't even know nothing about school. I didn't like school. From Edison, I don't know if it, the No Child Left Behind thing was going on mm-hmm. when I was coming up. I right. think they shut down Nimitz. Right. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So okay. everybody was at Edison. Yeah. And, I mean, school was way easier. I get the jinx. Man, I miss math, geometry. I ain't know nothing about it. I had a teacher, Mr. Parham. Shout out to him. You know what I'm saying? Mr. Invested Parham. in you? What? Did he? Mm-hmm. he like, I ain't want to talk to nobody. I ain't come to class to talk to nobody. Mm-hmm. I ain't want to fool nobody. He, D-Train, that's where the name D-Train came from. Okay, okay. okay. We're going to get to that you know to your name. My, yeah. my ninth grade year, D-Train, he gave me that name. And every day I come in class, D-Train in the building. He do this. They training in the building. I'm like, what's up, Mr. Parham? Mm-hmm. Go to my seat, not talk to nobody, not do no work. Just sit there. Right. Mm-hmm. So how many games was you in that was your freshman year? None. So you still end up Man, playing? Yeah, I still end up playing. Okay, you okay. You make it make sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Still end up playing. Mm-hmm. Um, And I balled my freshman year. I was going so crazy. I remember one game, Coach Trimble came down and watched me. He was like, you ready to play next year? Mm-hmm. I'm a freshman. Matter of fact, I came up at the end of the year for the playoffs. Playoffs, because the freshman season, yeah, that's what they usually do. They okay. do that, and I came Did they win it that year, your freshman year? Do you remember? No, so we what's lost that? to Union. 2011? 2011. Alex Ross was a senior. I know oh, that. Okay. Uh, Who did uh, Union have? Do you remember? Uh, like their best um, player. What's the fighter? The, the homie. He a fighter. MMA fighter right now. Number four. Chase, um, no, nah, Chase Dahlquist was there. 
the fighter. Dang. I don't know. I don't know the fighter. Yeah, he a fighter. They all wrestle. They okay. brothers. Crutchman. Kyle okay. Crutchman. Kyle, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I went to OSU. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I got you. Okay. He oh, he was there. tough in football. What? Was he? he was thorough. Oh, okay. He I didn't know that. Linebacker, running back. I think when um, what's the running back? Kendall. Uh, Holmes. Oh, Kendall Holmes. Holmes. Kendall Holmes. Yeah, he was tough. Back, man, and then him and seeing him and like as a young dog, mm-hmm. seeing Kendall and Alex, uh-huh. um, Alex back Rock, to back, right, and the, right, right, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. That was crazy. So me. when you were saying that, how did you compare yourself? Was you like sitting back I ain't like, like neither I, one? You did. It was bigger. I knew I was gonna be five eight. My favorite running back coming up was Traylon Barry. You know, he was tough. He was tough. Yeah, Traylon yeah. Barry was a T. Juan Jones too. Yeah, short. Yeah. Come on, Kiwan Jones, that, and then like that whole story. Kiwan came from Nathan Hill. Yeah. He did we used to stay in the same apartments together out here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So coming from there, I'm at Whitney, which is now called Nathan Hill yeah. High School. Yeah. I'm like, oh yeah, this storyline. Come on, I'm <laughs> yeah. really playing it. Yeah, you know yeah for sure. So when I get down there, seeing all the running backs, Coach Brad, Caleb, both the Caleb okay. brothers, they from Oak Monkey too. So okay. it was all a mix, you know what I'm saying? My daddy knew who they was. I get down there, it was all love. I come back, um, we lost that year. Alex ended up breaking his collarbone or something. I'm watching. No, matter of fact, little Terrell Buchanan. That's when he came on the scene. Okay. okay. Terrell okay. Buchanan was balling that year. He mm-hmm. came on the scene, got a lot of attention, offers, letters, whatever. Um, He made a name for himself. At, by that time, like, it's time for me to eat. Right. That next year, uh, we had Trayvon. This year, sophomore year. My sophomore okay. year, y'all. Trayvon did, Barry. Did you get any carries? Nah, I ain't get no carries. Just straight JV. Straight JV. Junior year. Did you get year. any carries? No. Matter of fact, I ain't start. I ain't even start my freshman year. I'm bothered. On the I freshman team, you didn't start? Eating. No. Wow. A running back by the name of Dylan Martin mm-hmm. was a starter. So your freshman year, you didn't start. Your sophomore year, you didn't start. We can run it back to second grade. Never started. I ain't never started. None huh? of my career. None of my whole life, I ain't never started. From second grade until now, nah, I ain't never started. I, I jumped on the scene when I got to NEO. That's why I thank NEO. Like, NEO got a different spot in my well, heart. Hold on. Well, let's go back a little bit. <laughs> so, your senior year in high school. No. You never started the game at Jinx High School. No. The only time I started was the first game before the semifinal game. I started on the back end of the season. That was Because he was rest- hurt or what? Nah, they just said, you know, it's crazy. Time. Yeah. The coach came up to both of us. It was me, Kayla McDavid, was the other running back. He said, um, we're going to let Darwin start this game. After and you that, wasn't I, expecting it. Uh-uh. After that, I took off. I had like 210 that first game, probably 300 all purpose, three tubs against, I think it was UConn we played. Okay. Did y'all win that game? Yup. So the state championship game, we you won. didn't start. I started. State oh, so you start the last two games? Last two games through the playoffs. Them only games I started. Okay. Your whole time ever playing football? From yeah. second grade to 12th grade, you only started two I games. I earned my rights. Yeah, I earned right. every Amen. stripe. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I ain't never started. So, I so had then after high school, of course, you didn't have really too much film, nothing. You wanted to go to any to play football. No. You didn't. Um, so, shoot. We, me and my pops went back and forth on the back and forth. My uncle, my cousin, David Thompson, played at Oklahoma State. He was after Barry. So the third lead rusher at Oklahoma State is David Thompson. Mm-hmm. Von Thurman, uh, Barry Sanders. Mm-hmm. David Thompson. Um, my people. Oklahoma State, Oklahoma State. My junior year, Justice took he, off. He took that scholarship. Hill. I so got you. You okay. know what I'm saying? Yeah. My junior year, I was a next in line. Or maybe that was my senior year. Devin Thomas was running back at BA. Yeah. They came to the game. We played BA. Boom. I talked to Coach Gundy. Um, they asked for my transcript. I never heard from Oklahoma State again. I had a 1.7 GPA. <laughs> Yeah, you didn't have no choice but Man, to go to Juca. What? But so, I tried to retake it all. At any moment, though, mm-hmm. we we being real, did you think you was going to play in the NFL after not starting in high school at NEO and you went to Utah State? At any moment, did you have that mindset like, I'm going to be in the NFL? I had that mindset As when a, I was five years old. Gotcha. They put that Oakland Raiders uniform on me. I had the fake shoulder pads, the fake helmet. Uh-huh. Me and my baby brother had an autograph from somebody. I don't even know. But I'm like, man, I don't care who this is. We used to watch Age of Peace. And my dad was like, man, go talk to them. I don't care who they is. I'm going to be better than them. I don't care who they is. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? My, my mindset, and that's what brought me this far is my mindset. mindset. Yeah, like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't care about nobody, nothing. I'm the best. Like, I don't Fact. care who you line up, who who it is. Mm-hmm. That's what got me. It's a dog eat dog mm-hmm. world in this thing called the NFL. Right. If your mind ain't built for it, you ain't gonna last. So was you drafted or was you free agency? I was drafted. Six Take us 
take us through that day when you man. was drafted. Was and drafted. you left Utah State early. Man. So you went to Utah State one year, one right? One year. Like, I would never suggest that to nobody. I was a Juco. You know, they Juco product. You know, the kids love to claim uh-huh. that now. And I tell them, I'm going to tell you the camera this. You're not no product until you leave some environment. Y'all, y'all in the Juco system right now. You're not a product of Juco. It's right. once you leave and make something out of it. That's when you become a Juco product. Mm-hmm. I done made, I, I spent all three years. I was red-shirted my first year. At NEO. At NEO. Mm-hmm. My daddy, get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. You know, some people can think, like, Juco is frowned upon. I'm going to keep it G with y'all. Mm-hmm. Y'all seen Gridiron Game? Yeah. yeah. That's what I thought Juco was. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. thought I was about to go to jail to play football. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, man, what the hell I'm getting myself into? So Cameron Booty, the homie, he was down there. He, was he tough played. For jinx. St- he started in front of me. Mm-hmm. Made some noise. He got down there. Was like, I'm eating down here. You know, I got letters, this, that, and the other. He's supposed to go somewhere. But the typical story, and that's where I want to change the narrative of mm-hmm. junior college is the grades. So when I make my 100 M's in this thing, we call it the NFL, and I'm done playing, I'm going to come back and I'm going to coach somewhere. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to change that narrative because there ain't no way with a kid with so much talent in the world get left behind because of grades. Right. Right. You gotcha. know what I'm saying? Sometimes we be so caught up in ourselves that we can't help the next man. Right. There, if I'm man. up 100 I'm going to help every child I can that come through that system. Because I did it because I had a strong mind. Mm-hmm. Right. But everybody ain't got yeah, no dad. Yeah. Facts. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Everybody ain't got a pops. Right. You know what I'm saying? I had my pops. So I try to teach the morals and codes that he taught me to stand on to mm. all the homies. Right. Around me. Man, I tell the homies now, hey, read this book. Check out this book. My uncle been in the pen 25 years. He sent me books to read. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Hey, check out this. My next door now, I just talked to him yesterday. He was like, man, when I was serving my time, they told me you can get beat up or you can go to school, get your GED, learn plumbing and all type of stuff. And that's how my uncle is for me. Hey, read this book, nephew. Gotcha. He's been there my whole life. Gotcha. So I used to talk to him through the phone. I tell the homies, hey, read this book. It's going to make you smarter. Mm-hmm. We falling behind not reading these books. Right. Yeah, everything right. in there. Right. Mm-hmm. Do you still right. read? Oh, what? Gotcha. Man, I got cut. Mm-hmm. I can't. Well, sh- I'm talking? moving on to okay. the Okay. Uh, you know that's fine. Saying? That's fine. So the day you get drafted, mm-hmm. um, what round would you pick? Six, six pick, round. Pick. What did what was the talks? Was you talk? Oh, you know how they tell you all oh, you're gonna be a third, fourth, fourth undrafted. Was they telling you, hey, six, seventh round? What was they telling you? They told me third, fourth, fourth. round. As the draft is going on, the third round go past, fourth round, fifth round. Did you start losing hope? Nah, because I was on the phone with the Seahawks. Okay, <laughs> so I'm thinking they about to draft me. They had four picks in the fourth round. Mm-hmm. They drafted D lineman, D B, so I don't know. Okay. Boom, get off the phone with them. I'm sitting at this point, yeah, I'm in the bathroom. I'm not even I ain't had no party. I had my girl at the time, um, my best friend, my mama, my daddy wasn't even there, my baby brother. We just at the house chilling, watching. So you get the call the sixth round. First, I get the call, I'm on the phone with uh, Houston. Uh huh. And they talking about we coming to get you. Boom, I see. Uh, grandma said, I actually go across the screen. I'm like, huh? And oh, he's drafted. Yeah. Why are you on the phone with him? I'm on the phone with him. So I'm like, what? At this point, I'm like, hey, I got to go. Number from Philly calling me. Mm-hmm. I'm like, man, I'm going to the Eagles. Because mm-hmm. the Eagles, pre-draft, they came and worked me out. That was the main running back coach at my pro day. It was all 31, 32 teams in my pro day. Like, mm-hmm. it was every damn team besides the Chiefs, for real. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, um... Philly number go across the phone. I'm like, yeah, I got to go. Philly number calling me. I answered. Coach Reed, we drafted you right here. I'm like, what? I just started crying. I hear my, I get emotional even talking about it. I hear my mama screaming. <laughs> my name going across the screen. Mm. Pick 214, Darwin Thompson. I'm like, what the hell? Yeah. I just got drafted. You know, that's every kid's dream. Just yeah. Get drafted. Yeah. Like, Didn't start. Man, I'm telling you. Little league to on up, you get drafted. And there's no, there's no, like, there's no flugazi. No, no, yeah, no, yeah, I'm exactly. You, no, I'm, I'm real. From second grade to psh, now, mm-hmm. I earned my rights in junior college. Like, I got red shirt in my first year. My second year, I can tell you, I, I done grown from the word doubted. That I'm pushing you no more. Y'all, gotcha. y'all done planted a whole another seed in my head, the motivation. Yeah, for we going to talk about that you know too. Yeah, yeah, a whole another yeah. seed. Yeah. I talked to a kid the other day. Who gave you that name? The, the motivation. motivation. Yeah, I did. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm I was making sure. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but I'm a t- how old are you, darling? 25. 25. I'm 37. Mm-hmm. And I, everybody paying attention. I gave this man the name, the motivation. Mm-hmm. Me being 37, him being 25. 
You motivated me, bro. I don't know. Because yeah. I know your story. Yeah. I'm just keeping on it, bro. You yeah. motivated me. Yeah. Not just me as yeah. a man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you get drafted by Kansas City. And let's get right to it. Mm-hmm. You get drafted by Kansas City. You play with him, playing with P. Mahomes. Situation happened. You go to Tampa Bay. It ain't too many NFL players ever. Probably can't count on one hand. Let's say they play with Pat, Pat Mahomes, Mahomes and Tom Brady. What make them dudes different? Patrick Mahomes changed the game. Mm-hmm. It's like watching Steph Curry and Michael Jordan. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They changed the game. Steph Curry shooting from half court. Yeah. Patrick Mahomes throwing side Facts. arm, changing angles, Facts. no look passes. And you got Michael Jordan and Tom Brady. Well, I'm going to show you how to dice them and lead them, and we're going to beat them. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so 45 years old to, I think, Patrick, 26, 27. Mm-hmm. The only difference is 45 years old. They both different, though. They both. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, when, when that story – Line closes. This one opens. Patrick Mahomes. You yeah, know what I'm saying? for sure. The the go to the game. That I mean, the little kids running around saying, "Yeah, it yeah, 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 yeah." We we unwatched Tom Brady. I think Tom Brady was I was 12 when he won his first one. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Did you think he was gonna come back when he announced his retirement? Did you have any? Man, yes, you knew it. Man, Tom Brady is a winner. You think he going out like Facts. that? No, Tom Brady not going out with no loss. Coming back for blood. <laughs> let's go back to let's go back to the Chiefs. How many years did you do with the Chiefs the first run? So I did two with the Chiefs. Mm-hmm. I got cut the third year and went to Tampa Bay. Mm-hmm. But the cut was the best thing that happened to me. But you won the Super Bowl though. Oh yeah, my rookie season I won the Super Bowl, you know. How was that that year? Winning the Super Bowl with Kansas City? A movie. Why was it? You know what I'm saying? So I put it like this. Let's go back to uh preseason. Preseason, I'm balling. Mm-hmm. I'm eating like they talking about. I'm on, I'm hitting the news like the NFL stuff. Andy Reid's new toy. I'm out there jumping over people, going crazy, <laughs> spinning moves, mm-hmm. breaking like I caught a ball, took off, touchdown. Just in that moment, I was on my high horse. Mm-hmm. My guy had to humble me fast. Boom, we brought in Lashawn McCoy. Mm. So you thought basically your yeah. rookie year, you like shit. I made. It. I'm the best shit going oh, yeah, right now. I'm the hottest thing, spicy. Yeah, <laughs> it's spicy. Yeah, yeah it's like what? Come on, I'm, I'm eating. I'm like, yeah, I'm the hottest thing they ever seen. So when you see they bring in Lashawn McCoy, you kind of like, Dang. it's like me taking that shirt off your back. Say, let me get that. Hey, Ginger, this yours now. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Did you go back home to yourself? Like, man, this is happening again. Why I think I'm in number thirty four? Why is that? Man, LaShawn McCord, he popped up. Big bro, though. No, I respect him. Shady. Um, oh, so you was 25. Mm-hmm. Wow. Oh, now I so you 25. You, that's why you say take your shirt. Yeah. They took your number. I took my number up off him. Big bro, he, he, now nah, he showed me love, though. Yeah, yeah. You no, know, you got to pay a Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He blessed you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, that was Big bro. He, he definitely showed me some love. And mm. he, been, he been an OG to me throughout this part of my career investments, everything. I can call Shady for whatever. Gotcha. He's going he gonna to take care of me. But for sure, that they give me that. <laughs> so your rookie year, Super Bowl year. Super Bowl year, we going through it. Damian Williams, Shady McCoy, my two vets. Um, show me mad love. I'm playing. Dylan McCullough, my running back coach, he came from USC at the time. Right, right, right. From right. Indiana now. At, Don't uh, he got no a son Dan. that play too, though? Oh, his kids is cold. Yeah, All okay. Three of them. Yeah. They safety, DB, linebacker. I think he committed to Indiana. Yeah, right. And then one at Cincinnati or something. Okay, but so yeah. that's your running back coach. Yeah, he there. Um, and he pushing for me, pushing for me, pushing for me. I tell you, my mouth, man. My mouth was an issue from my rookie season. I didn't know how to shut up. Talking too much. To the coaches or players? Everybody. Everybody. You, you, know you getting it, get into fights. Come on. I got my, my welcome to the league moment was during a pass pro drill, like Oklahoma drill. Well, Boom, was, guys. Was on, knocked out. I was on, who got you? Though. Yeah. Man, uh, Deron Lee, yeah. Ohio State, first round pick. So that was, that was your, like, oh, I got to get my shit together. Yeah, it was like, man. I know I'm going to be cutting folks when they coming in there like <laughs> yeah, that. But yeah, it's yeah. like. The name of the game is like you gotta stay, like you gotta maintain, you gotta mm-hmm. hold your own. So when they did that, I'm like, okay, never again, nah, never again. I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna come in here hitting y'all with my helmet, like I'm gonna be whacking y'all for real. Yeah, but that never happened again. Gotcha. I lied. <laughs> Training camp past year, I had COVID. 
the first two, and I feel like that played a part of me getting cut too. You know okay. what I'm saying? I missed the first two weeks. Right. I remember that because I remember seeing the yeah. video. You, you came hills, back running the up the hills. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, so like I just went into like a whole different mode. You know what I'm saying? I really got in that Juco grind, and that's what I always tap back into mm-hmm. when I feel like I lose myself because that grind propelled me much further than anything that happened before mm-hmm. any of You know what I'm saying? Like I, I forever held – them, them people I went to NEO with close to me. We changed the narrative of NEO. I got you. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, ain't nobody want to go to NEO before we left from over there. Like, right. 2012, after that, mm, now my class, come on, man. We brought yeah. ball rings, jerseys, cleats. I offer, I mean, I give them cleats and gloves now. You know what right. I'm saying? I try to make it cool. Because Juco ain't the... Wrong road, it's the long road. Right, you know what right, I'm saying? Right. It's just a long road that you got to take to get there. But running them hills, now I used to run 10 after practice every day. Mm-hmm. Why are you like, in the NFL? Oh, yeah. God, man. So I want 100 M. So what they do, they call you that little phone. You know how you see on um, Hard Knocks that cut? Is that how they did you? Hey, bring your playbook and come meet with coach. Man, I tell you how my cut went down. I'm laying in bed. Hey, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to it though, mm-hmm. cause it only can go only one which way. Mm-hmm. So I'm take, I, I woke up at like seven thirty, check my phone, no text. I went back to sleep, check my phone again at eight, text, boom, bring your iPad and woo, this up here. I'm like, am I getting cut? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He said, I don't know, just bring your iPad. Uh-huh. I'm like, I got mad. Man, tell me I got cut or not? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, what is it? Stop playing with my emotions. So I finally get up there. They tell me I'm cut. I mean, like, I knew I put my all into it, so I wasn't hurt mm-hmm. in right. which way. But that being cut it would change my whole mindset. Gotcha. It made me a professional. I got you. You know what I'm saying? It made you me, basically had to grow up. Yeah, I had to grow up. Be a man. Yeah. Be a man about it. Mm-hmm. And, um, after that, I had to make my decision where I want to go play next. How yeah. many offers did you have? About 12. Oh, okay. Uh, so why did you choose Tampa Bay? They kept calling. Kept calling. They called the most. You knew mm-hmm. they wanted you. Yeah, Tom Brady was over there. Mm-hmm. But... I would say Tony O'Brien was there too, right? Tony O'Brien, Leonard Fournette. Yeah, um, tough. You yeah, bet. Who else? Gronk. Gronk funny as hell. Yeah, that's what I heard. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then um, the whole D line. They an old vet team. Mm-hmm. It's way different than Kansas City. You know what I'm saying? We got a young team at KC. Young stars, mm-hmm. Tyreek Hill. The oldest one we had was Travis. Got gotcha. you. Travis. Psh- we're going to take a little break real quick. Um, be back. Going to jump right into this Antonio Brown. So... Where was you <laughs> on the sideline during the Antonio Brown situation? And what was your thoughts? Is A.B. our generation of T.O.? Yeah. Ocho Cinco. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, that's how I see A.B. was is. good to you, right? Hell yeah. I mean, he's still coach. Now, A.B. is still the coldest receiver in the game for yeah. when he's on top of his game. Yeah. For real, yeah. for real. Like, he, he, the old, he the OG of the receivers right now mm-hmm. and still playing like he's 25. And the media want to paint him as the bad guy. You look, you, he ain't nothing like that. No, ain't nothing wrong with Antonio Brown. Ain't nothing wrong with his head. He just got a way of going about business. Mm-hmm. Just like if you was attacked one certain way, you going to react different. Just Facts. how I would react. Facts. You know Facts. what I'm saying? He just react different than everybody else that's around him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Antonio I got you. Antonio Brown ain't, yeah. he ain't crazy. I got I'm going to just say that much. He yeah, ain't crazy. Yeah. I, I, I rock with Antonio Brown a long way. Big what he did, without what he did. I mean, yeah. I would have reacted a different way. I would have reacted the same way. I don't know. Right. Just the, in the fire of it all. Mm-hmm. Who, who we don't say, know. You yeah. know what I'm saying? decision. Yeah. I got you. So, let's – let's you from the Oklahoma area, the Tulsa area, Okmulgee. I'm a 9 a area. Give me your top five athletes to ever come to Tulsa, Oklahoma. That you seen play. That you seen. You can't go off of what they said over there with – that you seen. Even if you've seen a highlight, you know what I'm saying? I'm on printers number one. Facts. Okay. Trayvon Barry number two. Man. Okay. People be saying that. Talking to the mic, bro. Lie. Trayvon Barry was like, 
he was doing Barry Sanders. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I done watched him reverse feel. Like, he was cold on which. Mm -hmm. That's two. Pump return. I'm trying to think who is. Now, now, I, I, I watched Trey Brown's podcast. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I do. I remember Trey Brown at EC at little yeah, East yeah. South East South Cardinals. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? I when y'all say y'all seen him there, I'm like, I seen him too because he was out there <laughs> racing people. And I'm like, man, this little dude cold. Yeah, yeah. he was out there, little Scotty. I mean, I remember yeah, yeah, all yeah, of yeah, them yeah, competing, yeah. all yeah. them out mm. there. And so, so you I, put Trey Brown on your list? Oh yeah. Okay, so that's three. Shut down corner. Yeah, yeah for sure. That's three. Um, Give me two more. Trey Cobbs. Trey Cobbs. I don't know. Trey, what high school did he go to? Quarterback, East Central. Played at Texas. Moved to safety. Central. Went to Central. DeMarco, DeMarco Cobbs. DeMarco Cobbs. Yeah, yeah. DeMarco okay, Cobbs. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he was okay. tough. Yeah, he was tough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who else? That's yeah. four. I mean, one more. I can't put myself in there. You can't put yourself in there? Nah, I ain't going to put myself in there. Who else I like? Man, Mike Harris. Mike, Mike Harris. Harris. Okay. What's the book I let Felix Jones out there and Robert, but I ain't, I ain't see uh, Robert Meech and Felix Jones in high you. school, you know what I'm saying? I got you. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to yeah, go. Because that's mine. a different generation, because yeah, you yeah, give yeah. me, you ask me the same thing, and I'm not going to give you, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, go, yeah. And Trey be overdoing it, too, sometimes. Yeah, Trey. <laughs> you little cocky. Right, yeah. Yeah. But, but I, I like, I mean, he was. Nah, yeah, he was I mean, tough. He was but you feel down. like that, too, though. You feel yeah. like you the best running back to come through in the last 20 years. I mean, out of high school? Yeah, be honest, dog. Nah, not out of high school. You don't? You know what I'm saying? I feel like I had to create who I am now. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Like, who I was in high school ain't who I am now. I right. done added more to my tool bag. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I tell them I play basketball on the football field now. Right. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? I can't hoop for nothing, though. Right. <laughs> yeah. I can't shoot. I can dribble, and I'm going to take you there, but I can't shoot. But I'm adding that to my game. Now, my tool bag is way different than when I was in high school. I'm way faster. It took me to get... To Utah State to break for eighty, yeah, to break for you. sixty, to and see I, my speed. And I know how much the youth mean to you because I see you at seven on seven events. Mm -hmm. um, we got a couple youth in here. It's gonna be special when I get over. Poo Poo Maverick, come here. Uh, hurry up. Have them ask you a question. Uh, they've been in here listening. Come talking to the mic. Who going first? You Maverick. Talk. Ask them. Come here. Ask them your first question. Who's your best quarterback? My best quarterback. Ever, Cordell Grundy. Cordell Played Grundy. at Booker T. Played with me at NEO. My best quarterback. We grinded together every day. You know, talking about hardest worker, everything. Now he a coach at Colorado. I just got off the phone with him today, trying to get back in the league, be coaching. That's my okay. best favorite quarterback. Got you. Who you got? What you got for him, Poo Poo? I'm talking to Mike. Stop acting shy. How many? What kind of cars do you got? <laughs> I know. I said you be at Coach Reed. You done seen my cars yeah. before. That's why I done seen them before. Um, you know, I like the old schools. I got a couple of old schools. I got a Mustang. I got a Monte Carlo Grand National. Six four and pilot. I just do the old schools. I don't really mess with the new school cars. Yeah. Gotcha. I appreciate so, y'all. Yeah, for sure. And so, and since you've been in the NFL, though, I mean. Trey talked about it too. Is it have you caught yourself trying to keep up with the with the with the vets of, with your money and yo, had to slow down some? What's yo. the craziest thing you bought in the after you bought it? Like, why the hell did I do that? Man, I spent 30 bands on a chain and, and it was it was fully loaded, buzzed down. And I told my mom, I said, Ma, I just I feel like I'm bringing too much attention. I don't even like this. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was VVS. You know they talk about VVS, and yeah. I had a real VVS is when we won a Super Bowl. And <laughs> the I Super Bowl just, you know money, what I mean? the Super Bowl money. money. And I'm like, huh. and then I'm like, nah, I gotta sell this. I got a car on my neck right now. You know what I'm saying? Now I done switched to the gold. These straight investments. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. with, with the gold information, all that, that price move up and down. So I only invest in gold. All I wear is gold. I'm not fooling with no diamonds. All my money is investments now. Got gotcha. you. Yeah, what other invest investments you got? But see, I think I heard, I think June June told me that your house in Kansas City is an Airbnb now. No, I sold that house, but okay. that's what I'm into now. Okay. It's an Airbnb right now. Um, I'm working on getting Airbnbs in Seattle, Texas, Dallas, Arlington, mm -hmm. um, Tampa, Jacksonville, the hot spots. I got you. Know then I invest, I love cars. Mm -hmm. So I try not to buy cars to where they become liabilities. I make everything an asset. You know what I'm saying? I rent my cars out on Turo. My old schools, I want everybody in touch. We got a lot of music out here, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's slept on. I want to be able to um, 
rent my cars out so they can put in their music videos. Man. Like June got a song, eighty seven Grand National. Yeah. Well, I got a Grand National for you. Gotcha. Rent it out, put you in your video. You know what I'm saying? And make it reasonable. Right, you know right, what I'm right. saying? I ain't trying to hit nobody over the head. I want everybody to eat from the town. Right. Gotcha. That's why I come back home to do the stuff like this. Go to Coach Reed, right. show all the kids Super Bowl ring. I right. never seen that before, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, right, mm -hmm. right. Okay. And you got any other investments besides Airbnb and the cars and gold? Stocks. You know, I get into okay, the stocks. Yeah, yeah. Really tap in. Shout out to Justice Hill. You know, I be looking yeah, I already at the a smart NF business, man. NFTs and, yeah. and all the crypto stuff. He really into that. So yeah. I'll be watching him trying to learn more about that. I ain't really into all that, but I try to learn as much as I can. Okay. So justice means a lot to you. Oh yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Just to watch him really take the steps that I should have took. You talk about motivating somebody. I motivate. He motivated me. Went to Oklahoma State ball. Got drafted in the fourth round. Me, him, and Josh. I mean, Josh. I told him when I seen him, we played them at Oakland. I'm proud of you, man. Yeah. You're from Tulsa, Oklahoma. You made it all the way as a first round draft pick, and you probably believe that all your life. Yeah. But I'm just telling you, I'm proud of you because you another one that believed it just like I did. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Right. Not many of them believe it. Mm -hmm. And so I tell, I'm proud of him. What I was his that. feedback to you? Proud of it, appreciated it, bro. Yeah. And then we went back to the locker room and then he bowed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, you know, ate against the Chiefs, you know what I'm saying? So him, Justice, um, lock it just to see all them guys mm -hmm, right. make it and eat. You know, lock it, psh, the poster of, of it all. You Facts. know what I'm saying? Smart. Yeah. Good person. Facts. You know, if you want to be like anybody, be like Tyler Lock and start to walk in them shoes or follow on that path. Mm -hmm. I mean, mean everything. Now I get a chance to play alongside and learn up close and personal. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's a blessing. That's good. Gotcha. That's, gotcha. Good. That's real good. So uh, when you come back, do you ever get to go up to Jinx? Man, nah, I don't go up to Jinx. You know what I'm saying? I, I try to show all the kids love. Right. But as far as me personally, I don't travel back to Jinx. Jordan Johnson is Jordan. a coach. Shout out to Jordan at Owasso. Strength and conditioning coach. Get all my love and my and my praises. And then Jordan Johnson never gave up on me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He he pushed me here. He set the foundation of who I am as far as this football stuff, my work ethic, all of that. Jordan Johnson, I send any kid his way. You know right. what I'm saying? Because he's going to push into a whole another dimension. He was with. Felix and them at Arkansas, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and then he went to Tulsa and Tech, and so when he came to Jinx, he brought that SEC program and turned the whole program to a whole another beast, you know I what I'm saying? You. We went on a run. I think we won three my uh, years in high school. I've been winning rings since. Yeah, right. You know so Jordan saying? is your big your big reason why yeah. Jinx that is still the, as a yes young sir. kid. Yes, sir. You know, I talked to Lil Stratford, Jay and Curl, the running backs. I really try to keep in touch with the running backs. Right, right, right. Uh, um, Ethan Bill Green, linebacker. He was a little homie coming up that I talked to a lot. Uh, and shout out to Gentry and Michael Tease. They ain't here watching. Oh, yeah, the little homie. They, y'all inspire me. You know what I'm saying? Keep going. Y'all, y'all got something I ain't had, you know, right off the rip. Mm -hmm. Y'all balling. I like what y'all doing at 707 on the field, playing both sides of the ball track and then just being good people you know at the end of the day be good people you know inspire these young ones because they watching y'all they the next generation i don't really care about who next to me as far as my peers it's about the younger generation right. you know what i'm saying y'all keep going yeah oh sure appreciate you man you know we ain't gonna hold you too long oh, yeah. uh thank you like my so, brother said you motivate us for sure i mean ain't too many people <laughs> never started yeah. never gave up believed in yourself had the strong will. Got it out the mud. Yeah. Man, None was never handed to you. Just had it on me. Yeah. None was never handed nah, to you. Nothing. Yeah. Got it out the mud. It made me dangerous. Like, it just can't nothing. I've been at the bottom going to the top, and I know how to succeed at both of them if I mm. lose it all. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's all a blessing. Mm -hmm. I got God with me. I mean, who can defeat me? You know what I'm saying? A couple saying? of times you said you want them 100 M's. The first time you get that 100 M's, what you going to do? The first time I get them 100 M's, man. I'm going to build me the train towers in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I need two skyscrapers. I don't know too many that grew up having dreams of having skyscrapers, let alone them being in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Right. You know what I'm saying? I went to uh, Coach Reed and them took me to somebody that lived on the hill out here out north, and he see over the whole north side, mm. or all over Tulsa, over there by Osage. Mm. I'm like, man, that got to be me. Right. Trump Towers. He got two towers, man. Train towers. I need them. Mm -hmm. You got to have them. You know what I'm saying? And then, for sure, it's all going to feed back into the kids. Right. Yeah, for sure. I want Team Dangerous on my own, 7-on-17. Mm -hmm. I want top of the top, like IMG Academy. 
Yeah. All my partners I played at NEO, Booker T, played against growing up. I want all my top dogs coming to this school, private yeah. school. You, you want to do a prep school? A uh, prep school, for sure. Here in Tulsa? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're going to talk about that. All, all um, handyman work. We're going to work with your hands, though. Mm -hmm. I want to go off the curriculum that they teach in the whole United States. Mm -hmm. Now, we're going to learn financial literacy. Oh, you want to be a lawyer? You want to be a doctor? You want right. to work on housing? You want to do plumbing? Mm -hmm. Everybody, school wasn't for me. Yeah, we don't you do know what I'm saying? Get a trade. Oh, yeah. Get yeah. a trade. Yeah. I wish I would have learned a trade way early. Man, I wish I would have went to CDL school. Sorry. Hey, hey, that's my next move, CDL school, box trucking, you know, all the yeah. homies. I can't give y'all no money, but we can go make fact, some we're gonna money. We're going to make it, yeah. Box trucking, CDL, semis, and my uncles and them get out the pen. We're going to have that for them. Okay. So that's saying? another investment you're going to Oh, get. yeah, for sure. Trucking. Trucking. Got yeah. you. I got it right now. It's called transportation. Got you. Mm -hmm. You already got some trucks on the road? No, not yet. We on the Worth way, though. Hey, man. We on the way. Respect sure. that. Make your, let your money oh, make yeah. money. Yeah. All assets, no liabilities. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Hey. yeah, I tell yeah. I asked my kids daddy that the boys home. You an asset or liability? I'm telling you. That's yeah. the person. You as a person in life, you mm -hmm. an asset or liability. You taking my money, you making me money. That's all right. that matters. You know, the circle. You the circle or a cage. Come on, don't hold me back. Yeah. You fact. know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Okay, well, we appreciate you for coming, dog, man. Oh, yeah, appreciate really do, you. really do. And, and one more thing I want you to say to all the youth that's watching, um, the young kids that's watching, tell them, just give them one more lesson. Not giving up. Staying focused and believing in yourself. If you could say one thing to all the youth that's watching. Wake up and look yourself in the mirror, man. Ask yourself, who are you? And then believe in yourself. And then you... What you doing it for? You know, my late coach that passed, he'd always ask me, what is your why? And my why was to prove everybody wrong. But once I grew past that, I realized it was to prove myself right. And I became my motivation. I never, no longer believe in doubt. Because once I believe in doubt and what they say about me, I'm doubting myself. I'm now the motivation. You be your own motivation. Go get it. Yeah, I appreciate, appreciate you, my boy. Appreciate you. Yeah, appreciate you. Yeah.